You will collect Pokemon cards. Yes, you will collect them. I don't know what to do with my hands. Fusion Strike is here, the largest set ever printed in the history of the Pokemon TCG. And of course, this has got the new battle style Fusion in it. So that's really hype. I can't wait to see if we can pull some Mew V and Mew V Max out of here. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I'm streaming live right now at the time of recording this, but not actually at the time that you are watching on YouTube because I had to, you know, rip the VOD and then upload it to YouTube and that took some time. So this isn't actually live on YouTube, but it is live on Twitch. So you should definitely check out the Twitch stream. Let's see what we can find in these boxes of Fusion Strike. We're gonna start things off with this beautiful Elite Trainer Box. And if we take a look on the back, yep, says right there, something something about Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. So it looks like all of the code cards will be redeemable in the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live whenever that gets uh, released. They have not actually given us a release date yet for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, just soon, soon is all we know. But uh, I am very excited about that as well. And soon can't come soon enough. Now we've got the player's guide with the entire set list within it. The massive, uh, you know, how many cards are in this set? 264 cards in the main set. So then obviously with Secret Rares, uh, much more than that. And then uh, I wonder if they've got like a shout out to live here in the booklet, that would be cool. They do have something about uh, watch Pokemon TV on the go, and you can download that from the App Store. But very cool, and then obviously explanation of the various, uh, you know, Pokemon V and uh, Pokemon V Max, and then some gorgeous artwork on this Elite Trainer Box. I have to say, I really love the production of the Elite Trainer Boxes. They got some very nice. Artwork. I love the uh, you know the holographic logo that they put on the top and the signs. They've been doing a lot of uh, shiny logos. I really like that. Definitely adds just a little extra boost of quality to the boxes. And these boxes are just wonderful collectors' pieces. Great for storing your cards in and all that. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, yo, check out this multicolored. I mean, that's. Ooh, that's downright hypnotic, okay? I mean, look at that. <laughs> you will collect Pokemon cards. Yes, you will collect them, and then you <laughs> you will play with them. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is pretty fun. And the Fusion Strike pack art featuring Gengar V Max. Boltund, or I guess Gengar, Gigantamax Gengar, right? Boltund, Mew, and Genesect. Those are uh, your four guys. These these packs actually look really nice. I think the, the silver um, in the background of at least the Boltund and the Genesect gives these packs some like really nice contrast. The Mew is a little bit more uh, pink, and so is the Gengar. But I really like the contrast of the, okay, I'll stop talking about, you know, the, or I'll, I'll get to the, I know, he's stalling. He's stalling. There we go. Some beautiful Mew dividers there. We're giving away all of the codes. There we go. Pokemon trading card game live. Yes. We're giving away all of the codes from today's opening live on Twitch. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're missing out. Definitely make sure to give the uh, the Twitch stream a follow. Yeah, maybe it says play today. You, yeah, you definitely... Uh, can't play today quite yet, but soon enough, we're going to be playing today. Just nobody knows when that day is. Excellent. And then the the Mew uh, hypnotic sleeves. Yes, you will buy Pokemon cards. You will buy Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah. Rating pending. Oh, yeah, it's got no no rating. <laughs> from the <laughs> Yeah, no rating yet. They don't know what the rating is for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. We're going to open the energy, see, do they still have fairy energy? Yes, still fairy energy. One day, there will be no more fairy energy. But until then, we still have fairy energy in uh, 
Yo, what? How many? There are only... What, bro? There are two fairy energy in here. <laughs> okay, look at this. Yeah, there are only two fairy energy. So, you know... Are there more of every other type? Assuming that there are more of like every other type, right? Yeah, three, four, five, six fighting energy. There's just two, two fairy energy. So they're they're slowly phasing the fairy energy out <laughs> until eventually there's zero. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's so hilarious. Uh, I just wanted to prove to myself that there were more than two of every other kind of energy, and there definitely are. So it appears as if, this is my theory, that the fairy energy are getting phased out of the energy pack to eventually there will only be one fairy energy and then maybe there will be uh, zero or you know something like that. And then of course we've got the dice and the poison burn markers. Let's scope these out. This, uh, okay, this is, this is interesting. So here are your cotton, care, cotton candy colored dye from the Fusion Strike set. This one in particular is kind of the color of mouthwash, okay? So if you wanted a, a mouthwash colored uh, dye, this would be the one for you. That is definitely giving me some serious mouthwash vibes. And, uh, but these do, you know, kind of, uh, you know, remind me of cotton candy. So those are cool. I like the, I do like the pink and blue colorway for this set. I think that that's really nice. We're gonna keep all of our swag in the uh, in the box. Great, swag goes in the box. Boom. Now it is time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Fusion Strike from the Elite Trainer Box. Major thanks to the Pokemon Company International for sending these out for us to open and enjoy here on Twitch. Let's go. And I finally, got, yo, new code cards just drop. Scope that out. The Pokemon trading card game live. Yeah, look at that. This is the new, this is the future. Man, they have battle styles on here. That's crazy. Maybe they were, okay, so the code card goes like that over there. Maybe they were planning on doing battle styles. Maybe battle styles was the, was the earliest. Okay, this is our first pack ever. A fusion strike so we have to we have to really analyze analyze each and every card here is snubble okay snubble you know typically fairy now rebranded as psychic great geo dude sizzly peed this is one extremely cute sizzly peed it's extremely cute i love that that's great wonderful klefki pan sage let me see those simi sage emotes in the chat there's an incredible simi sage uh incredible simi sage artwork in this set yeah simi sage is the goat and meloetta durant meloetta is our first rare ever opened out of fusion strike metal energy schoolboy primate gotta love that primate primate print a good primate let me, there's always Primate. Primate's in a ton of sets. Print a good one. Let's go. And then Zarude. I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, if any of these cards are any good in Gym Leader Challenge as well. That is uh, that is super hype. And Schoolboy. We're getting a lot of cards, uh, a lot of cards that we hadn't received yet in this set, like the Intellian, uh, Rapid Strike Intellian VMAX. Uh, we're also getting the single strike Gengar V Max. A lot of really, really cool stuff. More Pekka. Single strike Skarmory. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Steel Wing, 30 damage. Takes 30 less next turn. Slicing Blade, 110. Always got to look at the basic metal Pokemon for Gym Leader Challenge format because metal is a type that uh, could use any good attacker it gets. Mana, Plusle. Cross Switcher. This is our first Cross Switcher that we have opened so far. You get to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon and then switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. But wait, there's a catch. You can only use this card if you play two at the same time. So 
Unlike a card like Custom Catcher, which had a single play effect, Cross Switcher does not have a single play effect. And there is Latias. People are really stoked about Fusion Strike Latias. Uh, it has got the Dyna Barrier attack for Fire, Psychic, and a Colorless does 70 damage. And then during your opponent's next turn, you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon VMAX. Now, this is a difficult attack to power up, but with Mew VMAX, you can copy that Dyna, Bar Dyna Barrier for just two colorless energy. So that is why people are excited about Latias. We got a Fire Energy Cram O Matic. Scope that out. Wow, I'd never quite understood the Cramomatic. I know it's a it's a item from the game, okay? And now we get Cramomatic here in the Pokemon TCG. Cramomatic is just a perfect example of how goofy the Pokemon franchise is, right? The fact that this machine is like a an item that you actually use in the game. It's an item card that says flip a coin if head search your deck for a card and put it into your hand then shuffle your deck. Dude, you can only use this card only if you discard another item card from your hand. So this card's insane. You have to discard Cramomatic and another item card. Man, I wish that this was just, I wish that that, that discard an item wasn't there or that you could discard any card from your hand because this is kind of a cool card. Flip a coin, get whatever you want out of your deck. I mean, Order Pad was a playable card, okay? So you got to keep that kind of, you got to keep that kind of card in mind because Order Pad, you know, you all know how much I, I loved Order Pad. Order Pad's insane. Let's see. So the code, we're going to take the code out. And then uh, here we go. Clauncher. You guys want to see the, the tricky gym pack trick? I'm going to do the tricky gym pack trick. All right. Growlithe. I know. All you guys that watch other openers, you're like, dang, why doesn't tricky gym do the pack trick? Just check it out. I'm about to. Here we got Sigilyph. The Sigilyph knows how to joust. That's cool. Tricky Jim pack trick coming right up. All right, we're going to patent this, right, so that nobody else can steal it. There we go. And now you start pulling from the back. Shauna. Okay. Corvus Squire. Yep. Dracloak. Fire Energy. All right, now we have finally come down to our final two cards. And it's Oracorio and Galarian Darmanitan. Anyways, that's the Tricky Jim pack trick right there. All right, patent pending on that one. Yep, I know. I know. Just reinventing the game. Reinventing the game. One pack trick at a time. <laughs> Galarian Darumaka. Nice sizzly peed. There are two different sizzly peed in this set. Dang, this set really is the biggest set of all time, isn't it? Or two two sizzly peeds. This is insane. Sandy Gas, the world's saddest Sandy Gas. He's so sad. Plusel. LD Gas. And Kangaskhan. Rapid Strike Kangaskhan with his very high kick. I'm very impressed, Kangaskhan. That is such a such a high kick. Wow. So impressive. No hits yet. This is a... Uh, wow. It's fine. We're just... We're just getting prepped for that first hip hype. hype. And I think I see something in this pack. I think this is the... Uh, I, think, I think this is the pack. This is the magic pack. Quillfish. Vulpix. Chansey. Galarian Zigzagoon. Mankey. This Mankey is adorable. Love it. Gossy Fleur. <laughs> Tricky Jim Pack Trick. Beware. Power Tablet. Why do they call them Power Tablets? Can't you just call them like... <laughs> they translated it to... To power tablet. <laughs> that's, I'm fine. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Gliscor. Metal energy. And Genesect V. Let's go. This is my fourth Genesect V now. I have three in Japanese, and this is my first English one. This is so sick. Yes. This is. The card we needed, frankly. <laughs> we definitely needed this. It's got the ability Fusion Strike System, which allows you to fill your hand to the amount of Fusion Strike Pokemon you have in play. So if you have six Fusion Strike Pokemon in play, then you could fill your hand to six once during your turn. You could do that for each Genesect you have in play. So if you have four Genesect in play 
and you have six Fusion Strike Pokemon in play, then you could fill your hand to six four times, which is absolutely absurd. But wait, there's more. It's Techno Blast Attack for two metal and a colorless does 210 damage, which is basically as much as Zashi and V's Brave Blade. So what an incredible card. This card is going to be a card that we are seeing a whole lot more of in the years ahead. I'm confident that this is going to be one of those like forever cards that Genesect is just going to be a card that's playable as long as Fusion Strike cards are playable. You're going to see this Genesect seeing play. That card is just so, so good that, uh, so good that uh, it is sure to see tons of play. Awesome first hit. Could not be more stoked about that. Oh, I am going to... It looks like there are black border codes and white border codes. So those probably uh, line up with whether or not you have a hit in the pack. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but that probably is a thing. Toodle! Growlithe. The Growlithe is good. Search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. That's a good... This is now the best Growlithe for Gym Leader Challenge format. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to one. Yeah, that's it. That's the best Growlithe for Gym Leader Challenge. So fire fans, there you go. You got a new piece new piece for your deck. Swampert, a hollow rare with the Muddy, wa muddy Maker ability, which reads once during your turn, you may attach a water energy card or a fighting energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And then Earthquake. Does 180 damage for a water and two colorless? That's crazy. And then this attack also does 20 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. 180 damage for three energy, though. That is that is no joke. And it's got a nice little energy uh, acceleration ability, which is super cool. A Lapras as well. Splash Arc. Put all energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand, and it does 100 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Wow, that is a very cool little snipe attack as well could use this in a spread type deck uh in gym leader challenge format and then icy wind one colorless energy sleep that is uh that's really good i love that that's great yeah 100 damage spread that's just uh, uh that's powerful especially if you're if you are building a if you are building a water type spread deck that's uh, certainly a card to consider Duran Duran, Stuffle, Panseer, Minun, Baltoy, Clawitzer, and Chandelure VMAX. Wow, we got two hits out of the Elite Trainer Box. Check out that beautiful Chandelure VMAX with its Cursed Shimmer ability, which reads, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tool cards from their hand. And then Max Poltergeist for a fire and a colorless energy does 70 damage times the amount of trainer cards in your opponent's hand. This is a wonderful artwork. Now, you know what's fascinating? This artwork actually has uh, a slight misprint on it. Not misprint, but... There's not a line coming out of Chandelure's eye there in the official artwork, but that is a that is a nice little nice little tidbit. Yeah, that's just a, a slight overlook on the uh, on the art team, but the artwork on the Chandelure is phenomenal, right? But sometimes keeping all of the details, every single specific detail of a Pokemon straight is uh, you know is challenging work. So that is uh, that is really. Really fun, really interesting. I love that. This Chandelure is probably one of my favorite Chandelure cards ever printed. Very beautiful card. And our final pack of the Elite Trainer Box. We have had a really stellar opening so far. And for those of you that are wondering, you know, uh, the difference between black codes and white codes, the Chandelure did come out of a co come out of a pack with a black code. So the black codes might be hits. I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, I love that. Camilla Voltorb. Pan Sage. Q font, which apparently is like the best Q font for Gym Leader Challenge. Phalanx. 
and Kangaskhan is our rare. Galarian Darmanitan Phalanx, and let's see him, chat. The Simi Sage emote. If you're watching on YouTube and you're like, why the heck does Mahone like Simi Sage so much? Because he's awesome. Look at him just vibing out, dancing. He's got his hands behind his head, just doing a nice little jig there. Simi Sage has got the vibes on lock. Just saying. Simi Sage knows what's up. What a what an amazing Pokemon. Might even be the best monkey Pokemon. And I know, and there's a lot of really cool monkeys, okay? But Simi Sage is definitely making a making a case for being the best monkey Pokemon. And that's it for the Elite Trainer Box, but we still have one booster box to go. Pull some Mew V or Mew V Max, or one of those beautiful alt arts out of this Fusion Strike booster box. There are so many good cards in this set. Obviously, the Genesect, extremely good. Expand your game, play online. The Pokemon trading card game live coming, you know, soon, sometime. You know, I don't know. Whenever. <laughs> there is the uh, Fusion Strike booster box when it is folded out. Looks super, super nice. And Gengar VMAX, a card that is really, really hyped from this set. So definitely stoked to see if we can't pull a Gengar VMAX. Oh, one missing pack. Sorry, Boltons. No dog left behind. Let's let's do this. We'd love to find one of the Rapid Strike Intellion. That would be good. Would love to find one of the Single Strike Gengar VMAX. The Alt Art Gengar VMAX is really, really insane. Uh, so that would be another incredibly hype card to pull. Sand Shrew and Q Fonts. Impy Dimp. I'm gonna go through the cards a little bit slowly until I see until I see most of like the the commons and uncommons for the first time. Snom Onyx, Sligoo, and Electrode. Look at that. Plus one Electrode for Natalie's Electrode collection. And if you didn't already know, my lovely fiance Natalie is working on a complete worldwide set of Electrode. So trying to get every uh, Electrode ever printed, right, in uh, in her binder. That is a lot of Trodes, okay? There are a lot. There are like somewhere, uh, probably like 500 different Electrodes or something like that when you're counting all the different languages and, and all of that and a Fusion Strike energy. So it is a, it's a lot. Now, if you're watching here on Twitch, um, Natalie is linking her... Uh, Linking her electro collection, I'll also drop it in the description of the YouTube, uh, the YouTube video. Uh, she's got a spreadsheet of all the different electrodes that she has so far, and you know one of the cool things is being able to link up with people from different countries who may have some foreign, well, foreign to us electrodes that we don't have access to um, over here. So if you let's. Go, Gengar VMAX. Yes, that's so insane. We've got our Gengar VMAX out. Wow, I've just, yo, check it out. Gengar VMAX, single strike, our first hit out of the box. It looks amazing. What a crazy card. It's got the attack Fear and Panic. For two darkness energy, does 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon V and GX in play. And then, which is hilarious because GX Pokemon are no longer uh, uh, in standard. Uh, and then G-Max Swallow Up for three darkness energy, does 250 damage. And during your next turn, this Pokemon cannot attack. So a really strong card. I think this is going to be the backbone of... Uh, of the single strike deck going forward. I, I fully expect to see Gengar and Umbreon single strike decks. I think they are going to be very strong, especially since Gengar and uh, and Umbreon both have a different weakness. I'm also going to pull out the Elsa Sparkle. Elsa Sparkle is a new supporter card for the Fusion Strike Battle Style 
It allows you to choose up to two Fusion Strike Pokemon, and for each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a Fusion Strike Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. So a great way to accelerate some extra energy onto your Fusion Strike Pokemon. I'm sure that is going to be a very popular supporter in Fusion Strike decks. Ooh, I think we got, I think we got something in this pack too. Pancham, Galarian Durmaka, Darumaka, Galarian Darumaka, Indeedee. It's got a call for family attack. Very cool. Growlithe, the best Growlithe for Gym Leader Challenge. New Growlithe, love it. Phalanx, this one just does 30, okay? Usually Phalanx has got something cool going on. This one, it looks nice, but only does 30 damage. Metapod, and Appleton V. <laughs> Look at this guy, Appleton V. 210 hit points, got the headbutt attack, which does 30 damage, and sweet, sweet impact for two grass and a colorless, does 100 damage, and you heal 30 from this Pokemon. Appleton V. You can't hunt, you can't have Appleton V Max without Appleton V. So Appleton V's primary job will be to uh evolve into Appleton V Max, I have to imagine. What a wonderful grass type Pokemon. Grass and Dragon. Who doesn't love Appleton? I mean, this is I think Appleton is definitely better than Flaffle, right? Like we're all we can all agree on that. If, it, if you had to boil it down to Appleton or Flap or, you know, whatever that other one is. Flapple? Yeah. Flapple. Gumi. That's a that's a really cool Gumi card. That's, what a unique, unique Gumi card. Aracuda. Snubble. Geodude. Latias. And Melmetal is our rare single strike Melmetal. Does 150 damage. You have to discard an energy from this Pokemon. And then Ingut Swing for Metal and 2 Colorless. Does 80 damage. And then during your next turn, prevent all damage done in this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon that have an ability. Very cool uh, card there. Hollow Rares. You always want to look at the Hollow Rare cards and see if they are playable in Gym Leader Challenge formats because, uh, you know, Hollow Rares really shine there. It's like the format that was created just for rares and hollow rare cards they really are uh the top dogs in that format geodude sizzlypede klefki pansage wooloo klawitzer this is a new one snipe shot does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon the crab hammer does 110 and kangaskhan is our rare cross Seaver is a new item card uh, you have to play two of them at the same time and you can put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand, a Pokemon or a supporter card. Not sure that that card is going to be um, super good. Having to play two at the same time is quite a, quite a drawback. And then at Sydney, your opponent reveals their hand, discard up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards, special energy cards, or stadium cards from it. That's a pretty cool disruptive supporter card as well, which uh, could be playable in in. Uh, Probat, and what am I saying? Could be playable in uh, control decks. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Bunnieri, Basculin, dude. Basculegion can't come soon enough. Grubbin, Mangy, Crow Gunk, very cute. That's nice. Love a nice Crow Gunk card. Simiseer, the Kamiya Simiseer, and Vicavolt is our rare. With its Electro Blaster attack, you discard two Lightning Energy from this Pokemon, and it does 200 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very cool attack. 200 damage snipe. That is pretty strong. Heliolisk, Dunsparce, and Sharpedo are uncommons from the rest of the pack. Croagunk. Pansier, Gumi, Aracuda, Sydney, and Evil Tall is our rare. It's 130 hit point Pokemon with two attacks that both take all darkness energy. Dark Cutter does 50 for two, and Single Strike Wings does 110 damage. Skaters, <laughs> Skaters Park. 
I, I love it. This is what the translation is. Skater's Park. Not Skate Park. Skater's Park. Whenever either player's active Pokemon retreats, put any basic energy that would be discarded into their hand instead of the discard pile. I do think that as a uh, stadium card, as much as I love the fact that there is a Skate Park stadium card, um, training court's just better. Yeah, training. Uh, unfortunate. Training Court's just the better card. Zerua, Shelder, Caterpie. This set is huge. I feel like I'm still finding like new uncommons that I haven't seen yet. Shinx, Simipore, and Gorbis is the rare with the Rapid Strike Canceler ability. Your opponent's Rapid Strike Pokemon in play have no abilities. That's right. Rapid Strike Pokemon are canceled. Okay. No more quick shooting from you, Intellion. As long as Gorbis is in play so that's pretty cool okay no no rapid strike search either that's that's fun that's fun water energy nine tails with a supernatural flames attack does 70 damage togedemaru i could not have told you this pokemon's name honestly if you had showed me this thing i don't i am i do not know that i could have told you this card's name togedemaru i can't say that i've i've yo and the new quick ball what where did this thing come from I didn't know that Quick Ball was in this set. <laughs> I've never even seen this Quick Ball. What the heck? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Is that this Quick Ball is next to the Cramomatic, by the way? That's definitely the Cramomatic there in the corner. So, Cramorant fans, new Quick Ball just dropped with the Cramomatic featured in the corner of it. Yeah, it's it's the same card. It's a quick ball reprint. Toxel, Totodile, Bonieri, Boniri, Bonieri, Tynamo, Fusion Strike, Energy Reverse, and Bra. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me, Pokemon? Oh no, no, no rare! Oh, <laughs> Oh, rare. Why, Pokemon? Why? What have I done to you? <laughs> what What have I done? And it was a... Oh, I just popped the mic. It was a... It was a black code, too. <laughs> it was a black code. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Four uncommons. No, not like this. Not like this, Pokemon. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe we'll get a double hit somewhere. I don't know. That's so sad. So sad. This one's got all right. Yeah, the five Verizian Latias is our rare. Okay, this is this is a normal pack. Excellent. Back on track. No, no, I can't believe someone, someone out there has got my rare card. <laughs> what, what is it? It could have been a Mew. Greninja V? I, what? I get, oh, there's a Greninja V? <laughs> what the heck is this? I've never even seen this card before. Greninja V has got 210 hit points, apparently, and, uh, it does 40 damage for two, and then Dancing Shuriken, you flip three coins, does 80 damage for each head. Uh, I have never seen this card before. What the heck? Uh, apparently, this was in a Trainer's Academy starter deck. Yeah, that's what chat is saying, but I, honest to goodness, did not know that Greninja had a Pokemon V, so cool. There you go, Greninja. Welcome to the stream. That is... Uh, that is... New information for me. Had no idea that that was even a card. Still looking for a pack with two hits in it, though, okay? Because I've got... I was robbed a hit. So, Latios out of this one. Schoolboy and Primate. <laughs> I'm going to write a support ticket to Pokemon. Hey, listen. All right. I was promised a rare in every single pack. And that free box you sent me. Sharpedo and Butterfree. I think in order to make the... In order to set this straight, I'm going to need an entire new box. <laughs> <laughs>
that's for humor. I'm just I'm just kidding. I would I would not actually do that. Stuff happens. It happens. It happens. Just it never actually happens in Japanese product. But uh, you know, <laughs> but it happens. All right, stuff stuff happens, but only here in America. It doesn't doesn't actually happen in Japan. <laughs> Honestly, have any of you guys have has anybody ever seen a Japanese error box or error pack? Have any of you ever seen it? I've seen uh, you know the packs with like all rares in it. I've never seen it. I've never seen a Japanese error pack or error box. But we do open far less Japanese products. So. Yeah, I have seen God packs before. But those are like intentional. Yeah, I'm going to say that rare, the missing rare was definitely the alt art Mew. Cross switcher and Grim Snarl. Single strike Grim Snarl. Its rear attack does 100 damage. And if you have two or fewer bench Pokemon, it does 140 more. <laughs> That's crazy. 240 damage if you have two or fewer bench Pokemon. So if you can maintain a small bench, then uh, you're going to be really doing a ton of damage. I mean, in Gym Leader Challenge, that could be that could be insane for sure. Simipore and Bug Catcher. Yeah, that is definitely... Uh, at the end of a game, has 170 hit points, right? In Gym Leader Challenge format, at the end of a game, like that could be really, really insane because you don't have a whole lot of Pokemon left in your deck. So you're not going to have a big bench. You could kind of just set it up and sweep with it. The... F the Pukey Mewku and Turtonator. Let's go. Pukey Mewku has got an ability. Pitch a Pukey Mewku. That is hilarious. Pitch a Pukey Mewku. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it and put it on the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw a card. You can't use the more than one Pitch a Pukey Mewku ability each turn. Yeah, that is kind of hilarious. I think this card could be could be okay. I mean, it's just a card that lets you draw another card. It turns all of your level balls. I really like that Puki Muku index the play level ball because it allows you to turn your level balls into uh, into a draw card, which is really cool. I like that. Gossy Floor, Phantom, and Muvi. There we go. We got one. Our very first Muvi. Uh, its main job is going to be to evolve into Mew VMAX, but its Psychic Leap attack is pretty cool. It does 70 damage, and you can shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So you can copy that Psychic Leap with Mew VMAX. If, if Mew VMAX is heavily damaged, you could just copy Mew's Psychic Leap and get it out of harm's way to deny your opponent prizes. I think that is a pretty awesome little strategy there. Uh, and the... Energy Mix Attack allows you to search your deck for an energy card and attach it to one of your Fusion Strike Pokemon. So nice energy acceleration attack as well. That is uh, that is super good. On to the last half of the opening. We've got four hits so far on Twitch. We have a prediction running. Can I open nine or more Hits out of the box, and we're starting off strong with a Cinderace V. No wonder this is the biggest set ever in the history of the Pokemon TCG, because it's got all these cards I'd never even seen in it. Like, Cinderace is in here? Greninja's? Who are these people? <laughs> this is crazy. Who are these? Who are these cards? This is crazy. Cinderace V has got 220 HP, and the Blaze... Kick attack. Uh, Blaze Kick does 210 damage, and you have to discard two fire energy from the Cinderace when you do. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool, Cinderace. All right. I see you. Is this better than the than the free retreat one? Yeah, probably not. Free retreat one is pretty good. But 210 damage is a pretty decent amount of uh, <clears throat> pretty decent amount of damage. Most definitely. Shinx, Mankey, Ball Toy, and Palo Sand is our rare with the Spooky Sand Attack, which does 120 damage. And then Oppressing Sandstorm for three Psychic and a Colorless. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it's knocked out. Automatic KO. Very cool, Palo Sand. Excellent. 
Still looking for a Mew V Max or another Dennis XV. That would be that'd be great. In this pack, we've got Oracorio is a rare with its Lesson in Zeal ability, which makes all your Fusion Strike Pokemon take 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. And you can't apply more than one Lesson in Zeal ability each turn. And then Glistening Droplets allows you to place five damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Hariyama is a single strike fighting Pokemon with the Guts ability. If this Pokemon would be knocked out by damage from an attack, flip a coin of heads, this Pokemon is not knocked out, and its remaining HP becomes 10. That is actually a pretty fun ability. Yeah, because it it you like have to flip every time. So this could go into a fighting type gym leader challenge deck, right? Because you have to flip every time. Like every time you try to knock it out, it has a 50% chance of surviving. So that's awesome. And cross switcher. Uh, for those of you wondering what the codes look like, the backside, the backside of the codes I haven't shown off yet because I'm giving them all away to one lucky winner uh, that is watching today. But they look the exact same as the uh, as the old codes. The only thing that's changed is the back of the codes. Nothing on the nothing on the on the front of the code has changed at all. We've got something. What do you think it is? What you what you think? Nice. Lap dog and a <laughs> full art Serena V. Yes, everybody's chase card. Look at that full art Serena. What an amazing card right there. That is a pretty gnarly pull, if I do say so. It looks awesome. Okay, it looks awesome. It's a it's a very pretty card. It's got a nice purple background. The Serena looks. Super dope. Can't be upset with that. Yeah. Serena looks great. Wonderful hit. That's our first full art from Fusion Strike. Serena V. With the long green hair. Cool, Serena. Excellent. Eldegoss, Vicavolt is a rare. Farewell Bell and Low Pony. Still got quite a stack left. We could definitely get it. We could we could open nine, nine hits. I believe. Definitely, definitely believe. Wigglytuff and Gudra with the slimy room ability reads as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot. Whenever your opponent tries to attach an energy card from their hand to a Pokemon, they must flip a coin. If tails, uh then your opponent discards that energy instead of attaching it. And then it does 120 damage for two. This is just a great card for your dragon type gym leader challenge deck. And if you're watching this video and you're like, what in the world is gym leader challenge format? Make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com. It's a very fun way to play the Pokemon trading card game. Probably my favorite format. Uh, my favorite format, my favorite way to play Pokemon cards right now. It's definitely gym leader challenge format. It is... Uh, a ton of fun. It's a single prize format, so you can't play any Pokemon V or anything like that. It's also a single type format, so you have to play all the same all the same type. Uh, your your deck has to be either all fire, or all water, or all dark, and uh, you can only play one of each card in your deck, which makes things really interesting. Uh, except for basic energy, of course. It's a ton of fun. Genesect V, let's go, let's go, Genesect, oh, I'm losing my voice, <laughs> losing my voice over here, Genesect V is so good, honestly, if there's one card I could pull, like, infinite of in this set, I would just want to keep pulling Genesect V, because this card is honestly the best card in the set, between Genesect and Mu V Max, it's those two cards, those two cards are easily the best cards in the set. Genesect V uh, is is a card that it's it's like Zashian level good. Honestly. And Zashian is one of the best basic Pokemon ever printed. And Genesect is like right up there with Zashian as far as, uh, you know, playability goes. This is the first Absol we've pulled. It's got the drag off attack for two colorless energy. You get to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. It does 30 damage to the new active Pokemon. Slash does 80. Simi Sage. Let's see it, chat. 
Da na 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 na. Semi Sage. Let's go. So sick. Up next. Bolton V Max. Let's go, Bolton fans everywhere. Let's get some hype going for the Bolton V Max 320 HP. It's Bolt Storm Attack. Does 30 damage plus 30 more damage for each lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. And Max Bolt does 230 damage. And during your next turn, this Pokemon cannot use Max Bolt. We've got eight hits so far, only one more hit to reach our goal count of nine hits for the box. Bolt on VMAX is really cool because it evolves into, uh, or it evolves from Bolt on V, and Bolt on V is one of the best lightning basic Pokemon ever printed. So I think that Bolt on VMAX is gonna be a great new card for those lightning type decks. Unfortunate weakness to Fighting type, of course, with all those Urshifu out there, but Swampert is our hollow rare, and we got another power tablet. Excellent. Swampert, Swamp Daddy. Love that card. The artwork is beautiful. Swampert is also the best Gen 3 starter. Not sorry. Okay. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows that Swampert's the best Gen 3 starter. I know it's not even controversial. It's definitely Swampert. I uh, know. I would. It's unfortunate to be a fan of somebody who's not Swampert, because then you're just constantly overshadowed by Swampert. We did get Elsa Sparkle and Fusion Strike Energy in that pack. Yeah, it's like it's tough. It's tough being a starter next to Swampert. Swampert's just so cool. Or Corio. Uh oh. Adventurer's Discovery, search your deck for up to three Pokemon V and put them into your hand. I actually think that this card has potential. That's just that's just good. I mean, you could get two Pokemon V and a, and a Crobat, draw more cards. You could go get uh, a Mew V Max, uh, a Mew and a Genesect and draw cards. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good card. I think that card's got some potential. The only problem with it is that you can't play it on the first turn of the game. Like all, like all of those kind of setup supporters, you can't you can't play it on the first turn of the game, which is, uh, it's, it's not great. Oh, you could also use it to get three V Union pieces. That is important, right? That is, that is important. It's like the best search option we've gotten standard for V Union. Hunt Tails got the single strike jammer ability. Your opponent's single strike Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless more. Could be good against those single strike decks. I don't think it's as powerful as the Gorbis, which just shuts off Rapid Strike Pokemon abilities altogether. But uh, it is pretty good. And it could be could be playable. Caterpie, Drillbur, Shinx, Rotom. And Crabominable V, that's our ninth hit. Can you believe it? Things were looking so sad. At the beginning of the opening, we even had a pack that didn't have a hit in it. Unbelievable, but Crabominable B, Crabominable B, Crabominable V is here to save the day with its Trigger Avalanche attack. You get to discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck and then Destroyer Punch for two water and a colorless. Does 90 damage plus 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Let's go, Crabominable. And we've got three, pa three packs left. Just enough time to find... A Mew V Max, come on now. Just enough time. We got we got three packs remain. Cursola is our rare with its Force Regeneration attack. Put a basic Pokemon V from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. If you do, put damage counters onto that Pokemon until its remaining HP is thirty. That's that's crazy, right? That's crazy because you could if you were playing this with like Quick Shooting Intellion, you could just like pop something onto your opponent's bench and then knock it out the following turn with quick shooting Italian. So that's kind of, that's kind of busted. We got another quick ball. Love it. Heliolisk and Sharpedo. Two packs left. 
have to say this set is huge. It is going to be difficult to find the cards that you are looking for in this set. That would be my suspicion so far from this opening. Clay Doll and a Selgore and Cook. Yo, Cook, this card's nuts. Wait, how did I not know about this? It just heals 70. That's pretty good, you know? It's like Pokemon Center Lady, but it doesn't heal status conditions. It just is a heal 70. Yeah, this is a good card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is a good card. That's good. I didn't even know that that was a thing. That's cool. The more you know. I think that's the first cook that we opened out of all of our packs. And finally, some last pack magic. Will we get a hit? Can we do 10 hits out of our first box of Fusion Strike? Rotom, Smeargle, Carvana, Clamp Earl, more Petco, Swampert, and for Alligator is our Hollow Rare, Frostmouth, Ninetales, and Togedemaru. That is it for our first opening of fusion strike major thanks to the pokemon company international for sending these lovely cards out my way i am incredibly excited to start building fusion strike decks in paper i now have all of the cards i need for the mew v max deck combined with the japanese cards that i had opened already this year so we're going to be showing off tabletop fusion strike content next week if you're watching on youtube definitely make sure to scope out the twitch channel twitch.tv slash tricky gym where you can tune in live it's really uh the most fun way to watch the channel definitely make sure to scope that out and if you're watching here on twitch i'm going to be giving away all of the codes from today's opening so hang tight while i uh, get that all set aside thank you so much for watching this video Hopefully you have a busted day and good luck with your Fusion Strike Pulse. Peace.